check out this little gadget. It's the Pi KVM. With this little thing, you can remote control any computer on BIOS level, even a computer which is not connected to the network. While there are many KVM over IP solutions out there, this one is fun and cheap. To build this handy tool, you will need to get some parts, I put a list in this video description. First we unpack the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B with 4GB of RAM. Although, 2GB version is fine too. Then, we unpack the Geekworm KVM A3 kit, it has everything that you need to turn this Raspberry Pi into a fancy KVM over IP, except the power adapter, which I had to purchase separately from AliExpress, because for some reason it's very hard to find European power adapter on Amazon.com. Ok, now let's stick these cute little heatsinks. Then, plug in this wide cable. Now take the X630A3 circuit board and screw in a couple of these screws. Go ahead and attach the two boards together. Attach the little HDMI in board and screw it in place with some screws. Then gently plug in the other side of the wide cable. Seriously, be careful, it's very delicate. Unpack the little LCD screen and plug it into the board. Tighten up the LCD screen with these two screws. If you have CR1220 battery around, you can plug it in now to ensure that the device clock will not reset when it loses power, but this battery is totally optional. Now you stick some stickers and screw a couple of more screws, until you got this nice little box assembled. And now the software part. You need to get an SD card and download two things, the Pi KVM software image, and the Raspberry Pi imager software. Run imager tool and select the custom image file you have downloaded to write onto the SD card. Once done, insert the SD card into the Pi KVM. Now connect the Pi KVM to your target computer, you will need to connect the HDMI cable, USB cable, network cable and power cable. If you have done everything correctly, your Pi KVM should automatically boot up when powered and display its IP address on the little LCD screen. Now we can connect to it via PuTTY and change some settings. The default username and password is root and root. To make any changes to the Pi KVM operating system, you will need to run the RW command, then use the row command to revert it back to read-only mode. Now we can change password, set the clock, set up Wi-Fi and modify many other settings. After changing the password, you can open your browser, hit in the Pi KVM IP address and enjoy setting up biases and installing operating systems and recording nice videos of it all from far away. Overall the Pi KVM is easy, fun, and practical project. There are many ways to customize and improve it with added functionality, but that is for you to discover. Cheerio!